Cristiano Ronaldo is the ultimate marketing machine. Not only does his on-field brilliance encourage younger fans to mimic his game style and fashion sense, even fully grown men have been known to go weak at the knees upon brushing shoulders with the Portuguese prodigy. So what does this mean in terms of marketability? Well, quite simply, companies from any industry in all corners of the globe will pay big bucks to have the young star endorse their product. With brands the likes of Suzuki and Banco Espirito Santos already on the payroll, lubricants giant Castrol recently approached Ronaldo to become its global ambassador. Nike is another of Ronaldo's major sponsors. However, his move to Real Madrid, which is sponsored by Nike's major rival Adidas, has caused its fair share of controversy. While Ronaldo continues to wear his Nike footwear, Adidas is putting a lot of pressure on Real officials to take him to task. Club president Florentino Perez has reportedly asked Adidas to renegotiate the club's sponsorship deal. However, Adidas and Real Madrid must surely be happy with the Ronaldo-led spike in shirt sales. It is believed that through sales of the new number no. 9 jersey alone, that Real will recoup the massive 80 million euro fee that it shelled out to buy Ronaldo. Although some fans felt the signing was a bit overpriced, they were confident that it was a good investment. But if Madrid want to play the best football, they're going to have to pay for the best players, like Kaká and Ronaldo. I think that he is going to bring a lot to Madrid, and with all the sponsorship money he will bring in the end, he will be a free signing. Thank <laughs> you.